Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm so, I'm so excited for today's video. I feel like I really just need it, honestly. And I've been kind of putting off filming this until we were a bit closer to moving so that I could kind of break up the chaos and just like have a day for myself and so i'm really excited welcome to my perfect fall day i feel like it's so cheesy but like every day feels like the perfect fall day because i just love the little things and like i'm not like a grandiose person i guess you could say honestly any day is like a great fall day but today we're just gonna do a bunch of things that i want to do a bunch of things that i love and i'm really excited and if i were to like map out my perfect fall day i would wake up well, I preferably sleep in, but that's okay because sometimes we can't do that. And I would make a big cup of coffee and I would sit in bed and watch. I'm probably going to watch Scooby-Doo, let's be real. Or like a um, cheesy Halloween movie that Matt doesn't like because Matt doesn't like like Halloween Town and stuff. And there's just like something about being in bed with like all the cozy lights on and a candle and just having a relaxing morning that just it's so good for the soul. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but when I'm in bed in the morning, I like flip flop between like YouTube and reading and watching Netflix. So I like to do a variety of all of my favorite things. And then I'll probably have a nice breakfast. I meal prep some pumpkin chia seed pudding and it's so good, you guys. I can't wait to share and I'll give you guys the recipe too. It's so good. It just kind of adds a little juju to your chia seed pudding, which can get kind of like boring and bland. And then I would love to just go do a few things that I love. I really wanted to go explore a new small town today. Ottawa has so many and we might we might i have two plans and i'm just gonna see how i feel i kept putting this video off until i had like the whole day to myself and it it's just not happening right now between work and packing and lawyer appointments and all this stuff like it's just the way it is right now but i want to make the most of the time that i have so i have a few hours this afternoon to just kind of do whatever i want i just don't know if i want to make the trek to like a town 45 minutes to an hour out and feel like pressed for time so we'll see but that is one of my favorite things to do because ottawa has so many small towns surrounding it and if we don't do that i would love to go sit at a coffee shop and read for a little bit and maybe order some lunch which is something i don't normally do well i do go to coffee shops but i don't normally like order food and stuff go to an antique store i don't know something about like antiquing on a crisp fall day just feels so perfect Maybe check out like a used bookstore, obviously, and go for a nice like fall walk and then spend the afternoon reading with a cup of tea on the couch, take a nap probably, and then just like have a fun date night at home with Matt, make some kind of like fun fall cocktail. We're, I'm just listing all the things we're doing in this video, like a fun, like maybe spooky date night and a little movie and stuff, and then going to bed early and reading. That sounds like the perfect day, honestly. So come along for the adventure i'm so excited and with that being said i am going to cozy up in bed <laughs> i feel like i haven't had a good honestly like pto day i call it upto because i don't get paid time off my job because i'm part-time but i haven't had like a full day off in a really long time i've been putting in hours here and there which i don't mind it's just the way with like, because of like moving and then we're taking a trip right after we move i just need to kind of get ahead with work and sometimes you just have to do that and so I haven't had a good true day off in a hot minute. So I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm going to veg and relax and chill and do all my favorite things. And I can't wait to take you guys along. So without further ado, let's have a little cozy morning together. I'm at like 90% of my books. I'm really hoping I can finish that this morning and give you guys a review because who doesn't love a book review in a vlog? And I'm really excited. So let's cozy up, spend the morning together and really want to finish my book i'm literally can you guys see my bookmark i'm so close to being done so i think i'm gonna hurry up and finish this before i put on a show because i just like need to know what's gonna happen i was so tired last night that i could not keep my eyes open so let's finish this off stella has proceeded to literally somehow smush the entire duvet up into this little corner and i have literally no blanket
you guys i'm gonna share my breakfast with you guys like i said i meal prepped some pumpkin chia seed pudding and i find it a lot easier to meal prep my chia seed pudding for the week instead of doing it like one night at a time oh, it smells so good it smells like a little pumpkin pie so i will put the recipe in the description for you guys literally the only thing i did differently was i added pumpkin puree to it but i basically just take a portion I like to add some vanilla yogurt to it because that makes it taste like a pumpkin pie. Also helps just keep me full for a little bit longer. So I'll do a layer of yogurt. I feel like you could also do granola on top and that would be really good. Just a little bit. Some cinnamon. And there you have it, a little pumpkin chia seed breakfast. Alrighty, you guys. <laughs> it's 11 in the morning. You're gonna be like, Carter, where'd you go? I took a nap. I took a nap, okay? I, I quite literally took what I said by having the most relaxing and vegged out day. But sometimes there's just like nothing better than when you get up really early and then you just lay back in bed and then you just like fall asleep. Like a little, a little mid-morning nap, if you will. So I'm not gonna lie, I did that. Did I have plans to like do other things? Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. It's my day. Hi day. I only fell back asleep for like an hour and then I got up and took self for a little morning walk and what else did we do? Oh, I just like curled my hair and put a little bit of makeup on. I haven't put makeup on in like quite a while. So it felt kind of nice to get all dolled up. Now I'm going to get ready for the day and head out on our little adventure. Truthfully, I don't think I'm in the mood to like drive an hour or like 45 minutes away to a small town because I would like to spend the majority of my afternoon reading. So my plan is... We're gonna get ready. I think I might like honestly like dress up a little, aka not wear leggings and an oversized t-shirt. And we're gonna do as follows. We're gonna go to Drip House because they have a really cute seasonal menu and I just love Drip House. Then we're gonna go to an antique store that I've never been to, but once again, the thought of antiquing just sounds great. I'm going to not go in Black Squirrel, even though it's gonna be very difficult because it's my favorite used bookstore because I was literally just there last week. Um, and I'm gonna resist the urge to go in. I'm really gonna do it. And then I would like to go to Manatic because it's kind of like a big like circle. Like I'm here and then we're going this way and then Manatic's like this and it's like kind of on the way back. I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us. And then we're gonna end with Manatic because I went to Manatic last year for my perfect fall day and it's truly like the quintessential small town except there's not really too much to do there except walk around and maybe get like a little treat and go to there. They have a really great used bookstore, so. That's the plan. And then we're gonna come home. Oh, I did also finish my book. And then I really wanted to make those skeleton pizzas tonight that you see on, well, everyone's getting their inspiration from Universal Studios because they do it for um, Horror Nights. But I couldn't find a skeleton mold. So I got a pumpkin one, so like pumpkin little pizzas. And then we have a ton of apple cider left from our little fall weekend. So I think we're gonna do an apple cider margarita and an apple cider spritz. That sounds really, really yummy. I wanted to do an apple cider Moscow mule, but I don't have any vodka, so. Anyways, I need to pick up my next read and I can't decide between six books actually because I have Starling House downstairs, which I'll probably end up starting. First we have Assistant to the Villain. And the only reason I now wanna start this is because I saw someone say that this ends on like a mega cliffhanger. So, I don't know like does the girl fall in love with the villain i'm kind of thinking also i got the red sprayed edge version from indigo and i really cannot stand it i don't like it at all it does not look good in my opinion so there's that then there's the graces which also sounds really really good this is about some sisters who are witches and it just sounds like a good YA read i know this also sounds really good but i know that i don't have to read them all today like i do have some time I don't know. Then we have The Hexologist, which is about a husband and wife witchy, witchy duo. We have Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which kind of gives fall energy. This is like an Alice in Wonderland, not retelling, but like Alice in Wonderland prequel, which also sounds really good. But I kind of want to save this for a fantasy uh, video. And then we also have The Whisper Man. But I think I'm going to bring The Graces with me as well as Starling House because I really want to read Starling House. And I also started Sophie Lark's new book, which I love Sophie Lark so much. It's Grimstone. And it's like a 
spooky season. I'm really into all these gothic mansion stories. A girl and her brother and they go to renovate their dead uncle's like gothic mansion and it's like on this big hill and her only neighbor is this like hot brooding doctor and I think it's supposed to be like a dark romance. So I started that because I like to have a bunch of different genres on the go. So have that. ended up spending like 45 minutes in the coffee shop i'm just in one of those moods where i like want to walk around it is one of those fall days where it's cold out but the sun is shining and it's like the perfect day i think i honestly might grab a tea after like i'm just in the mood to hold something warm because my favorite coffee shop in manatic they have the best scones i thought i could maybe surprise matt with one and maybe stop and get a tea like walk around i want to be outside it's just such a beautiful day out I started Starling House and so far I am loving it. I'm only about four chapters in, but whenever I see like a gothic fantasy, I'm very weary because you guys know in my brain fantasy doesn't work unless it's urban fantasy. Urban fantasy is the only fantasy my brain can comprehend. Like world building in foreign worlds my brain does not understand it i was a little hesitant about this because i know that alex e harrow is mainly like a sci-fi fantasy writer but this book is so good so far i'm really liking it the about opal who is a like high school dropout her mother is dead she's taking care of her younger brother and they live in this town called eden kentucky they live like in a motel she works like a minimum wage part-time job basically the town is known for having bad luck and it's also known for being the hometown of E. Starling, who is basically a 19th century author of a like ghost story gothic gothic horror novel. And basically the author disappeared like a hundred years ago and left behind this giant gothic mansion that has been like untouched since the author disappeared. It's all about her journey through the house. I'm assuming the house is like haunted. And yeah, so far so good. I really love Alex E. Harrow's writing and prose. And I, I just wanna like get home and read this honestly, but I know that I have all evening to read this. So immaculate flop for a new book. So anyways, that is the update. But my mom and I actually went to Merrickville the other day, which Merrickville is like the quintessential, I just said that about Manatee, but Merrick, Merrickville is also really great small town to visit especially during spooky season because all of their stores decorate with pumpkins and they have like a really cute witchy candle store so i took some clips there i wasn't sure where i was going to put it in but i figured i'd put it into this video if you guys live in the ottawa area and you're looking for ideas for a day trip either in the fall or any other time of year it's like one of our favorite spots so anyways i wanted to include that footage because it's super fall and cozy and spooky so yeah let's do it obviously and do i have a story to tell you this is supposed to be the perfect day vlog but ironically it's not which i guess is just life it happens but 
we finish up at drip house we're in the car we're chatting yada 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 you guys saw the footage from Merrickville last weekend when i was with my mom i was like waiting to put that in this video because merrickville really is like the cutest little spot for a fall like weekend day or even like a friday like today like everything's open on fridays it's like the best spot in the world it's so cute so i highly recommend i really wanted to put that footage in here so you guys could kind of like see like you know you could add that to like a little saturday or sunday or take the day off and do it on like a friday like but in real time i was driving to manatick i get to manatick and i actually first thing i did was i got a tea because i was like you know what it's it's like cool out but it's sunny and i want to walk around i love just walking around neighborhoods with some music on like harry potter ambiance or like dark academia vibes because it's free and it's just nice and you get to be outside with nature that was my plan so i was like i'm gonna grab a tea so i go to 692 i go to grab a tea and you know i ask for a mint and then like i leave and i'm pretty picky with tea like i don't really like any tea except for mint like i don't do green tea i don't do english breakfast i really just do like mint and like an apple cinnamon like that's really that's really it okay and it's obviously scalding hot so i don't start drinking it right away and then i'm walking around and then i'm so excited to go to the bookstore because like i said it's one of my favorite used bookshops it's so good i get there and they have a website but it said it was open today, like normal hours. And I get there and it was like temporary closure for two weeks. And I was like, oh my gosh. And you know when you just like, your day just starts going downhill and like you feel like you're on the verge of tears. That's literally how I felt. So then I'm like, that's fine. I'll just like walk around. So then I decided to walk around, but there was so many houses doing construction and the roads are so small that like all of these like excavators, like dump trucks were like coming through and we're just like killing the vibe. So then I'm like, okay, it's fine. I get my car and I was like, I'm just gonna sip my tea in the car instead for a few minutes. And I go to take a sip of tea and I realize it's like, no, I don't even know what this is, but it does not taste like mint. It's not mint tea. I literally am like, what? Like, are you kidding me? And then I was like, okay, well, I can at least go to that one world bazaar on the way home the antique the other antique store i want to go to that's like only open on the weekends then i'm like driving home or towards it and i'm like i i feel like it's right here i literally took the wrong road and i had already passed it by like 15 minutes and didn't realize and so at that point i was like i'm not turning around to go back and then i just drove home and here we are so uh it was a very adventurous afternoon anyways now it's literally 3 30 i'm like where has the day gone <laughs> and at first i was like i am not uploading this this is like so far from the perfect fall day like i feel like the day is just flying by and i haven't gotten to do everything i wanted to do but that's life it is what it is like i still had a great day so i've got a tea that i don't like but i'm like i don't want to waste it and throw it out and i'm literally just sitting on the floor in the living room taking a breather all things aside, it's still been a really great day so far. That's just life. But I did pick up some ciders at 692 because they do sell some like um, ciders and beers. So I'm not sure if it's maybe a different, oh no, produced by Saunders Farm. Interesting. Um, I obviously got the pumpkin pie one because you guys know I love pumpkin beer. So I'm curious to try a pumpkin pie cider. Like if it's going to be sweet, it, it says it has apples in it. So I grabbed this thinking it was a beer. It's a cider, which now I'm even more intrigued because a pumpkin cider sounds so interesting, but I feel like apple and pumpkin go together really, really well. And then I just got Matt like a normal apple cider because he loves cider so much. So anyways, those are my two little purchases and that's it. Uh, I was going to say I'm going to keep drinking this tea. I'm not. I'm going to make my own tea and then probably sit down with my book and try and get through another chapter or two and wait for matt to come home and then i'm not sure if we're going to do the dog park and then the gym or if we're going to do the gym then the dog park i'm not too sure what the plan is we're gonna make those little like homemade pumpkin pizza pockets and then we'll go to the pumpkin thing and then make cocktails and watch a movie i think that's a good plan so anyways we're making the most of an imperfect perfect fall day <laughs>
you guys have seen the skull pizzas at universal or the trend on tiktok um but i could only find a pumpkin mold so i picked this up and we've got all of our supplies here and then i've just been letting the dough kind of like hang out room temperature uh just because it's the pillsbury one i find you have to let it like sit for a little bit but we're gonna try this out i sliced it They don't look very pretty, but I'm sure they're going to come out looking delicious. We're going to do two different beverages. We're going to do an apple cider spritz, and then we're going to do an apple cider margarita. And I'm going to show you guys both. Moment of truth. Oh, they kind of worked. See? They kind of click little. They kind of do. Yeah, yeah, they do actually. Actually, it worked. I think they're cooked through, right? Yeah. yeah. They cooked they're probably they're probably not very like thick. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, these are so cute. Look at these little pumpkins. Look how cute these are. I don't really know if you guys can see. You can kind of see this one actually the best. You can see the. Like a little jack-o'-lantern imprint. And then three of them were just plain. Just three plain pumpkins and then three little faces. And I think they actually turned out so cute. So kind of like a little catch-all dinner. Wanted to use up some stuff in the fridge before we moved. And we had a ton of dough. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Yum. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 